Question 5 says, one mole of an ideal gas initially at a temperature of 1.5 times 10 squared degrees Celsius is compressed at a constant pressure of two atmospheres to two-thirds its initial volume. A. What is the final temperature of the gas? The units are in Kelvin. And B. Calculate the work done on the gas during the compression. The units are in joules. In part A, we can use the combined gas law to find out what the temperature is. It gives us the initial temperature, and so we need to find the final temperature by setting up the equation P1 times V1 divided by P2 times V2 is equal to N1 times R times T1 divided by N2 times R times T2. Now in this combined gas law, we can cancel out anything that will remain constant. So the pressure, it tells us, in the problem remains constant, and so the pressure cancels out. The gas law always remains constant, and so it cancels itself out. And in the, in the problem, we are to assume that the moles are constant, and so the moles also cancel out. So we're left with the initial volume divided by the final volume is equal to the initial temperature divided by the final temperature. Again, just like in the previous question, it doesn't tell us what the initial volume is or the final volume. It only tells us how much the volume changes. And so we can describe this algebraically as the initial volume is equal to x, and it says that the, initial, that the volume is compressed at a constant pressure to two-thirds its initial volume, and so we will call the final volume two-thirds x. And now you can see that the x's cancel out, and then we can rearrange the left-hand side of the equation so that what we get is 3 divided by 2 is equal to the initial temperature divided by the final temperature. As a shortcut, we can cross-multiply to both sides, and what we get is 2 times t1 is equal to 3 times t2. And then we divide by 3 on both sides, and we get that t2 is equal to 2 thirds times t1. In the problem, it tells us what t1 is, but it gives us the, the temperature in degrees Celsius. And we actually need it in degrees Kelvin. And so 1.5 times 10 squared is 150 degrees Celsius. If we add 273.15, we get 423.15 Kelvin. So our initial temperature of 423.15 Kelvin multiplied by two-thirds gives us a final temperature of 282.1 Kelvin. In part B, it asks us to calculate the work done on the gas. The work done on the gas is equal to the negative pressure times the change of volume. And this is only true when the pressure is constant. But since we know what the pressure is, but we do not know what the change of volume is, we only know by what magnitude it changes, we have to solve for pressure times change of volume. And so the pressure times the change of volume is equal to the moles times the gas law constant times the change of temperature. So we can substitute this into our equation for work, so we would get that work equals negative moles times gas law constant times the change of temperature. Now if we expand the change of temperature to be the final temperature minus the initial temperature, we can plug in the value that we got in part A. The final temperature was 282.1 Kelvin. The initial temperature was 423.15 Kelvin. The change of temperature was negative 141.05 Kelvin. We multiply that by one mole, and we multiply that by 8.314 joules per kilogram moles. This is our gas law constant. When you take the negative of a negative, your answer should be positive 1,172.69 joules.